Hey guys, what's going on? Rick here from Lala Farm, and me and Patrick are outside. It's kind of late right now. It's six eleven on a Thursday. Tomorrow morning. Patrick, Patrick's trying to talk to you guys, uh, but uh, tomorrow early in the morning, um, we're going to be going out camping. Uh, Lala and Pop will be in their camper, um, while me and Chelsea will be slumming it in a tent and decent blow-up mattress. Um, but uh, leave it to me to kind of uh, professional procrastination, um, the king of it. And so the night before, we're going to be packing up, making sure that we have everything. Chelsea and Lala are outside right now. <laughs> Chelsea and Lala are out at the grocery store right now um, getting some groceries uh, for tomorrow's trip. Um, we won't be back until Monday, so I got time to get a lot of footage. Um, so, yeah, this should be fun. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to feel. made it to Elijah Clark and uh, we're knocking on our neighbors. What? We're knocking on your door. Hi neighbor. Oh, it's Lala. <laughs> oh, That's okay. <laughs> Lala's getting the rest of it set up. What you done so far, Lala? Uh, I'm just trying to get the water and the other stuff that we use on a regular basis put out. Yeah. Uh, so. Nene's jumping around. Rick Isaac had to get, a, or Patrick had to get a diaper You're change. The cold air out. Madeline's letting the cold air out. Rick Isaac's already getting comfortable in one of the recliners. Nope, I'm just waiting for that television to turn on. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm excited. Um, but me and Nene, and whoever else wants to join, is about to go back outside and throw up our tent. We'll go show you our campsite and then a short little time lapse setting it up. So. I was probably the most excited. We're going out. Oh, I was probably the most excited. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Chelsea's over here too. She's way over there. Already met our pretty cool neighbor over there. He said, if he said. Don't get set up and get thirsty. And he held up a Bud Light and he said, "I got you." So, this is our uh, this is our campsite. Like I said, got ours uh got ours set up, um, or got it at least a uh, a camp area picked out. I'm gonna set you guys up on the truck. And oh, we had a blowout on the way here. Look at that. Not a blowout, but uh, one of the Attention. bands. One of the bands on our tire broke, and we were lucky to make it to the old Waldo Mart. And uh, <sighs> yep. Anyway, solid ground. Put the spare on, and now we're here. So, like I said, I'm gonna set you guys up on the uh, truck. Do a little time lapse of us setting our stuff up, and we'll see you in a minute. <laughs>
we're done with our tent setup. We're gonna go ahead and start blowing up our, our uh, blow up mattress and getting some of the other stuff moved in. So I don't know if the bed's going to be big enough for me and Chelsea. It's uh, it's pretty small. Kid's got a decent size area though to hang out. But this is why, why? it's kind of small. But we'll make do. So we might be in North Georgia. But we are actually further on the coast um, than we are like mountains per se. And so it's still hot. I lost my t-shirt. What you doing, buddy? Taking my shoes off. Made him angry. He loved his daughter enough not to hurt me, but he didn't want me around to bother him. He was upset because he was stuck babysitting me all the time and he could not stand it. One day when I was playing, I fell into his rose bush, breaking several branches with fly. Day two. Lala and Papa aren't up, but we're up. I got the boys. I'm going to go ahead and get them dressed real quick. They're already driving me nuts early in the morning. They're overstimulated. <laughs> They're driving me crazy. Like I'm trying to get them like out in the open uh, somewhere out in the park um, where I can let them run around and exert some energy. Lala made me coffee. Lala's cooking us breakfast this morning. What's under here? Okay, so this is one of Big Rick's things that he likes to do when we go camping. We haven't done this. We, we have done this in the past when we took our kids camping um, years and years back. I don't even know if Rick Edward remembers. But um, Rick likes to do this. So we decided to make this one of our breakfasts this time on our trip. And what it is, it's just... Uh, a boiling bag omelet basically is what it's called so we use these ziploc bags and we'll write the name of whoever it is on here i'll scramble up an egg and i'll add what ingredients they want in there we have uh yellow and red peppers and we have cubed ham and we have diced uh vidalia onions and of course your eggs um and then we also have uh some cheese to put in there and then salt and pepper and then ketchup for anyone who wants to eat that on their eggs what we'll do is uh once we get them all put together in the bag then we put them into um some boiling water that right. we have over the campfire let them cook up till the eggs are cooked and then we just take them dump them out and eat them okay so this is going to be rick isaac well, hopefully this won't boil off because i usually use sharpie for different things like that well it don't come off my shirts or any clothes or anything else so, <laughs> so what do we do so what do we do well i just explained it are you not paying attention no not really yeah all not right. all the way not all the way well i was paying attention all right so i'm going to scramble listening. up this egg I do like eggs. Do you like eggs? Yeah. It's, and it feels funny. Okay, what do you want it in there? funnier. How about some of that? Want some ham? Yeah. 
can't. Yeah. Want some onion? Nope. Want some red okay. peppers and green, yellow peppers? These are sweet. Well, onion. A little bit of onion? Yeah. Just a tiny bit. <coughs> and then that's it. You don't want any peppers? No. Well, just one piece. Don't work that way, buddy, but you can okay. pick it out if you don't want it. Do you want cheese in it, Ricky? Want sure. some cheese? Good? Salt and pepper? Okay. No? Mm-mm. And we just take it and blend it together. Like that. And then we'll put it in the water. Madeline, where's yours? Put my feet into the lake. Oh, that's gonna feel amazing to my feet. We're going up to the lake, and I need to have my feet in that lake somehow. It's very hot, buddy. This is mine. Yep, it's very hot. Mama and Joe. So I don't know if you guys have ever played Skittles or not. Um, we're done eating breakfast now. And Lala decided that she was going to bring out the game, Skittles. So, right here. Then we have a line back here. This is 10 foot from 10 foot the from Skittles. 10 foot from the Skittles. The Skittles have numbers on them. All right, you play to 50. You don't want to go over 50. Because if you go over 50, that sets you back 25 points. If you only knock down one Skittle, you get the point that the number is, or whichever number is on that Skittle. If you go, if you knock over two or three or four or more, you get however many pins you knock down. Now, once you get towards the end, at that point, the Skittles are spread further out because now... Wherever you knock the Skittles down, that's where you stand them back up. So, I'm going to set you guys aside. You guys can watch us. This is actually a really cool game. At first, I thought it was going to be kind of lame, but it's not. It's fun, and it's competitive, and I love competitive sports, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, how many pens are there? All right. One. That's off. Four. four. That's what you want to do is you want to try to hit one of them. Unless you get a one. Huh? Unless you get a one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You got two? It didn't come yeah. as I expected. You just won! <laughs> I'm done. Good job. Good job. Didn't come as expected. So me and Chelsea just went to the Walmart. Uh... 50 miles away from where we're staying which is you know sucks but it's also a good thing um because it means we're really truly out in the boonies so this is chelsea's side kind of stacked all the junk on her side in my side so this big fat guy won't be sleeping on the dirt tonight there you go you're recording you gotta talk, tell them where we're going. I don't know where we're going. Well, I don't either. Just saying we're gonna find somewhere to look for we're the We're gonna lake. let Madeline do it. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go find somewhere to, what, like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> so, we're gonna go find oh, somewhere to go to the lake. I'm at a beach. Take a little... Hey, y'all, we're gonna go find somewhere to do something, cause, feet yeah, we're gonna go dip our feet in the water. So, and there's a few parks around. We're gonna try to find somewhere to eat. And yeah. I got no shoes on. He's got no shoes on. Bare feet. We're gonna go kind of swimming, but not really.
little cooler outside and we've explained to Madeline and Rick Isaac that they will not be going into the water because it's cool um, and also we're not going to be here for very long uh, so we're simply coming down here taking a look at the water and then probably going back to the truck or going up to the nice little playground that they have so but go down here and get the kids feet wet for a minute Patrick, I don't know if this is a slide, bro. That is not a slide. Is it a slide? That's how you get up. Is that a slide, Patrick? No. Well, go down it. I don't want to. He doesn't want to go down it again. Patrick, it. just try going down this. <laughs> it might not be a slide. It's not a slide. It's not a slide. Oh, no. He figured that out the hard way. <laughs> he just went down it. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Bumpy butt. Ow. <clears throat> It might be a slide. It might be a slide that uh, makes you not go so fast. 